Hi, welcome to Arch Labs. We are gonna make a tutorial about how to make an art theme. Why? Because I had another what if, and what is my what if? Duncan Pringle is one of our designers, and he made this menu in for open box, and the black and uh, well, let's call it dark pink is just awesome. Just of course a personal idea. Maybe it's also a good idea to give it to your girlfriend. Anyway, I do like the pink. Um, but the question is, do I have anything that goes with it? So this is one menu for open box. But do we have something that can uh, match up to it? So we have a complete look. So if we open up file manager, for instance, and we're gonna make it smaller, control H, like so. Do we have anything that is similar, that is, that's okay to, to go with it? So we have this arc frolly dark that might be good, but as you can see there is a difference in color. And that's the only pink we actually have. Red might be an, a possibility. It's close, it's quite close actually. So maybe there's no need to make a new thing. But this is a possibility. Of course, all the others are a bit different. So the Mandy is probably okay. But anyway, it's also a tutorial about how do you do it. You have 16 million colors out there. And then something comes up and you say, I want to have a new arc theme. How do you do it? That's the tutorial. Let's go to the place to be. Let's see if Google finds it. Arc or uh, Eric Dubois. Arc theme Colora. Changing the color. Let's have a look. The goal is to make scripts that make it easy to change the accent color, which is the blue color of the arc theme. Arc Colora is capable to have any color you like. Okay, lots of tutorials and so on. And then just follow along what I do now and then you'll be fine. This is the first thing you should do. So control C. Okay, let's first have my no not screen fetch. The other one, screen key. So you see my shortcuts and it's also an exercise in how to use sort the shortcuts that are in Arch Labs. So that's there. And then I'm gonna open up my system and copy paste it in like so now we have our arc theme from Horst so we are so grateful that we have this guy it's awful and an awful an awesome uh, theme and he's working on it there are issues all the time he's he's he's, he's working on it and it's uh, maintained it's very important then we're gonna get this one so like so and like so well done this means we don't need this anymore and actually we don't need this anymore either so nothing is here where is it right mouse click file manager let's go to the desktop not here let's go there i do like it to be on the desktop so i'm gonna move it to here so this is it this is our desk or virtual desk and here everything is gonna happen here are the scripts and here is the github from Horst. Okay, install all needed software from Tergos. No, here for Arch. Okay, so if you did not do that already, you only have to do it once of course. For Arch. Let's have a look. Arch. Oh yeah, that's true. I see I can delete the one for electricity I suppose you know that and that it does not exist anymore it'll be easier for us to install reinstalling reinstalling and reinstalling net upgrade zero I did expect as much anyway doing is as it should be done voila next up figure out the color accent of your new art theme online 
Uh huh. Then change the color for the variable new color. Uh -huh. Okay. So I want to know what this pink thing is. Normally I would do like so. Key pick, and I will try to click and press spacebar to sample color. I don't know if I'm going to be successful because I have here an element. I do, I am successful. Otherwise, I wanted to explain it to you that oh, the hibiscus is already here. I want to explain to you Atom, which is also a great uh, program to take a look at colors. So, this is the one I want anyway. So, right mouse click, copy the clipboard. This is the color, the hexadecimal color I need. If you don't trust it, so if you, have, you want to have use other tools, you can always just type it in here and you see here other sites which uh, can help you decide which color you want. Anyway, so this is the color we need, that's true. And then, what's next? It says, script 1. Change the color in script 1. Change the color in script 1. Change the color here. Like so. Get rid of that. No hashtags before or color code, otherwise you will get two hashtags because it's going to replace all the blues with this pink. Okay, save. And then we have to run it. So, but first off, we're doing things all wrong. What we should do now first is get everything that's from here till here. We're going to need this one too, the open box team RC. We're going to need it because we want to have it also um, in the other one. We need our open box team. We're going to use then this copy paste to put all the scripts over here because the scripts are going to address elements that are in here. Cinnamon elements, all of them are going to be changed. So it's not just for Arch Labs or for Openbox or XFCE or Cinnamon or Gnome. It's for everything. All distributions can use this theme if they make it on their own system. Okay, that's prerogative. You have to make the theme yourself. Do not download them. Make the theme yourself. The guys from Arch Labs can of course download via the packer because they're made for Arch Labs. But otherwise, if you make your own theme, you should make it on your own system. Okay, clear. So the change color, we've done that. It's another kind of color. What we need to do now is we run it. So let's get rid of things that might be become uh, well confusing. We are now on a desktop in the arc themes and we copy pasted the arc colora theme still here over from 1 till 8. Then right mouse click, open terminal, and then we're gonna run things. 1, change color. It's going to look in every SVG, in every file, everywhere. It's going to change this blue accent into this pink accent. And I've just made for myself a little script and you see fix one fix two so I know where it is and what it's doing so I still have the feeling that it's moving along then it says all CSS files but also SVG files have been changed okay fine so we'll need to make new PNGs so this is script two the old SVGs let's uh, PNGs let's take a look they're still blue all right so we don't need them. What do we need? We need these guys. Let's open it with uh, Image Viewer. We need these guys. These have been changed. These are already hibiscus. What we're now going to do is export all these elements to these smaller elements to the folders down here. And that's done with the scripting from Arc, so from Horst. The only thing I'm doing is, is putting the script to work. So now everything is deleted. Yep, gone. And now we're gonna run this one. We're gonna make it like the assets as they call it. So the PNGs. It's going to make the assets and we can follow in the GTK2. So 
So we are in the GTK2 in this one. Those are the ones that he's created first. At some point in time, you will see the orange guys. There's the, there they are, checkbox checked. So everything in your system, everywhere they use a checkbox, you'll get this little orange PNG instead of the blue one. And as you might have gathered, this is a great time to pause the tutorial as to be working quite a bit. I'm not sure how many icons, that's an interesting idea, how many but I do think we're above the thousand icons, so let's wait for it. A few minutes later, and I've, um, if you see the clock down here, everything is uh, uh, run or everything is created here. And um, now we're gonna off, we're gonna make the number four script. The number four script, what is it doing? Your themes will be installed in user share theme, so we can't do anything really about that. Well, we might do it, but it's easier to do it this way. We follow the arc theme scripting. So now we get this make and this build. And it wants my password. There you go. So where are we off to? We are actually having a theme here. So we overwritten the blue one, if you had a blue one. You've overwritten the blue one, and later on there'll be a script to get the blue one again. But first off, we need to run script 5. Script 5 to copy and rename the themes. I already have a name in my head, it's Hibiscus, because that's the name that Duncan Prinkle, the creator of the open box theme, gave it. Okay, so I'm gonna run script 5, moving, renaming the themes. First letter is a capital. Hibiscus. It's a great time to make a typo. It's looking good. There you go. What happens? It's in here. So I can already select it. But let's keep ahead and script a little bit further. So script 6 will delete your personal themes. So the ones that we've just created are gone. The hibiscus is gone. And now we're going to get with the dot 7, we're going to install the blue one, the art theme coming from Horst. So in the meantime, we'll have the latest, latest, latest with all the bug fixes on your system from Arc. GitHub. That's that. We do not need anything here anymore. No elements needed for the, um, the terminal. So let's have a look. What did we create? XFCE appearance. Hibiscus, like you see, it's oh so similar. It's oh so similar. Anyway, this is Hibiscus. We have these elements that are now pink, kish. As you see, elements that are that can change, will change. Uh, here, for instance, this is always white, which is okay. It's good. Um, well. Basically, if we combine, let's go ahead to this one, Alex Appearance. So what I did is Archibiscus Dark, there's also this one, and there's also that one. But like you know, I always go for the dark one by default. And then Window Border, we take a Hibiscus Light, Apply, which is this kind of look. Or the Hibiscus Darker, Apply, and this kind of look. Rather like this one, but there's also another one which is this kind of look, which has a blue header here. So that's also nice, why not? I'm gonna keep this one for a while. So what we've done now, if actually create a new one, a new arc theme, the icon theme clashes with it. So we can change our icon theme, maybe why not this one? So we have now the Sapi Monopapias Colora, which is Okay, but do not forget, it's a mixed system, so we need to tell them here as well to go for something else. What did I choose again? This one? I don't know. I think so. Well, there you are. This one will change if you rerun it again. This one, you can, you can delete this one or get rid of this one. Just click on it, escape. And there you go. 
so far manager this is gonna be our look much better all this yellow it's not a good idea let's make this color as well um, looking like this one so what do we do right mouse click system settings preferences here are the con keys which con keys do we have edit con keys con key the running con keys the thin sign is over there so whether orange is one i want um oh it's a bit it's gonna be a bit tricky now let's um not do this why is it tricky because of these things these icons should be changed as well and i've already explained it on another tutorial so what you do is you watch the tutorial about this ap weather conkey from arch labs on eric dubois it has been published on 20th of may i see so it's there um you need to do changing these colors is, is just fine but these are pictures so you have to run a script to change the pictures there but anyway um looking good this thing up here is our tint 2 so our tint 2 we need to create a tint 2 for that as well so preferences tint 2 gui we'll need to add a separate tint 2 thing to match this one but for the rest um that was the goal we have our arc theme and it's working just fine enjoy <laughs>